What's up everyone, I'm Tamara and welcome to Tam Psych Advice. So today we're gonna to talk about the ESTP and ESFP and their many faces. When you have types where there are a gazillion of them, you're gonna see some amazingly different versions of them. I just saw a guy sitting on the ground strumming his guitar and singing. Another guy walks up to him and creates a verse on the spot that blends with the melody of the song. Then a third guy walks up, grabs the door to the store that he was about to go in and start singing too. He lets go of the door and ad-libs in harmony and then begins to rap. What type do you think these guys are? They are more than likely ESTPs or ESFPs. They thrive on spontaneous skills. As an ENFJ, I admire this type of energy, and I might have a strong urge to join in the fun, but unlike these fellows, I'd have a very difficult time designing lyrics off the top of my head. On the contrary, these types can be more at home with parading what they can do on the spot and being incredibly good at it, making strong, bold statements, and getting a crowd going with ease. These types of ESTP and ESFPs are natural entertainers. They feed off the crowd and come up with content as they go along. I was especially impressed with how comfortable and in their element the singers were. They were pros. As quickly as guy number three jumped in, he flew into the store and hollered, thanks guys. Not much need for closure. He moved on to the next thing in typical ESTP, ESFP style. Then there's Mr. and Mrs. Confrontation. Combative, confident, say it like it is, straightforward approach, no nonsense, don't mince words. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in, ESTP, ESFPs. They don't like fake, phony, or pseudo. They invented the term, keep it real. Then there's the quiet type. They're more docile, polite, nurturing, or respectful. They're people of fewer words. They can enjoy having a great conversation, but there are times when they are coy and reticent. And yes, they are the extroverted ESFP, ESTP types. Ah, but have you seen this version? Questions your every move. What's that? What's this? Why did you wear that hat with those skirts? Their extroversion leads them to point out whatever they see and whatever they hear, they're going to say it. They are extreme extroverts and they're curious. And then there are the competitive type. I'm talking extreme turbo style competition. Whether they're athletic and ready to win every single race or board game, competition is their central focus. It drives everything and they thrive on winning. How about the super laid back type or the arrogant but non-narcissistic type? And then what about the high achievers? They have all their ducks in a row and they are experts in their field. They understand every fact and every detail of every job they're doing. They know their stuff. Forget salutatorian. They aim for valedictorian every time. They can use their sensor trait to elevate, to organize and make things work incredibly well in the best way possible. ESTPs and ESFPs can also make incredible leaders who have everything going on and they can make things happen and make things interesting and keep everybody on their toes. But we gotta remember the comedian. We're gonna find a lot of our comedians in this group. They love to laugh and they can find the funny in everything. They're playful. They mock or imitate people. They're slapstick, funny, hilarious. They can make you laugh with a simple word or inflection. Most comedians are ESTPs and ESFPs. It's difficult to match their wit. Heck, I know two ESFP sisters and they think they're totally different from each other, but I don't have the courage to tell them you're actually the same type, but one is older and one is the youngest. 
And so they have two different roles in the family. And so it's created kind of a different type. One is very take charge and serious. The other one is more laid back and funny. Given ESTP or ESFP an entire day or 30 minutes to complete something, and they'll use the 30 minutes every time because they get an adrenaline rush and they can complete things in shorter times than if they have a whole day to procrastinate. They thrive on that last second energy and there's nothing wrong with that. But I could go on and on forever, like literally coming up with 150 different versions of these types to the point where sometimes you think that they're completely different people and they're not. They're just a different version of the same type. Isn't that so fascinating? So I will put my ESTP and ESFP playlist in the description box. I want you to check them out so you can learn more about these folks. And definitely if you have a love interest, you like, oh my gosh, I love these two types. You'll definitely want to check out my book, Flip the Script on Love, where I talk about how to make romance happen. Yeah, how to make things better in the love department. It's on Amazon by Tamara Hunter Zion. Check it out. You're going to love it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.